and welcome to the Intronia Bully or DJ Intronia or DJ Intronia Bully tutorial. Um, I try making it a couple of times and the glass just keeps putting off. But I made a fantastic intro as you just see, fucking brilliant. Now, this is what you're going to need pretty fast. You need a bully. Yeah, you know what a bully is? Everybody knows what a bully is. A bully is a repairable atomizer in three parts. Yeah, there's bully on it. Now, the good thing about this bully, it comes in small mode and big mode. If you buy a small mode, if you buy a big one, or if you buy a small one, you get a big one. Something mad like that. And then what you do is, uh, oh yeah, you put that on top of this, like so. You put on there, like so. And then you put, where the hell is that gone now? Oh, there it is. Going blind. And then you put this down here, and it looks pretty bad. That's what mouth sets uh, And then you put it on a Revolve it. What the hell? What is the Revolve on? Oh, there it is. Um, a Revolve. You need this for But today, I'm going to make a bully coil so it can work at around 3.9 to 3.1 volt. And I'm going to do a two wrap coil. Now, all you need is some thick wick. I don't know what kind of look it is, it's thick. And it's about this thick. And I've cut a bit off. You're not gonna you're gonna need about that much afterwards. And I've cut it off this big thing here. Right. Also you're gonna need some wire to actually cut off. I've got twenty games, I've got nickel on, but in this tutorial, I'm gonna give you nickel chrome wire and I'm going to cut a little piece I mean a little bit off using scissors chop 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 invisible chopping and you should get something like this I don't know if you can see that this is how it's it wire you want it pretty straight no knots in it also you're going to need is some of this and you're going to need to chop about a nail length, you know your fingernail length, there, you know your nail, and you only need a dead thing, up you go, nice and thin, put it around the earth, that's, that's all you need, something like that, probably need to be in fact, I probably need to be double the length of that, actually. Um, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter at all. Need to undo all this again. Like, <coughs> off. I made one earlier, but my knife got closed down on me. I couldn't believe it again. And I want to show you on, on cam. Right, so. I mean, you, you mesh. You only need to go down that little hole. Don't need to go all the way down it, but well, it's gonna be all right, of course. I'll just get some thin wire. Also, you're gonna need some thin wire. Um, you got thick wire for the coil, and then you're gonna need thin wire for the mesh. So thin wick, I mean. I know you do before a little tiny bit. And you end up with something like that. And then you get your mesh. Put it in. I think it might need it to be a little bit longer. Oh, right. Don't worry about it. You just roll it in, roll it in. As long as it wicks. And then that's what it looks like. Should be able to, yeah. Just There we go. Kind of done it. It should be a lot better than that. But, you know, it's one of those mad things. Well, first we're going to do is make the coil. So, we need this. Right. Get the wire. Get your thick weight. And just wrap it. 
Brown. Oh, there we go. That's one. It's not round one. And now on the other side, wrap that round, and you should come together. If you can see it, might say it might be a bit fiddly. But get them, get them get reasonable well close together. And it should look like that. Go on the other way. So I've got two full wires. And then I would easily, well, it's a little bit long, but it's alright. I've brought the wires. And as you can see, all I do is Do that. I don't know if you can see it. Then you just wrap that round there and use one of these key things to tighten it in. And then you wrap the other one round the other side. Simple, easy, easy. Right? I might have not done that properly. So I haven't done it round the wrong way. Never mind. So undo that and take them out, bring it to the side. You want it as close, you want it pretty close to each other, you see. And as you can see, that's how you block it up. But you know, you keep at it, take it off. That's already in there. Don't worry about it, you know. And then, somehow, we do that. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to take this out, and we're going to start again. Because obviously we did it wrong. But don't panic. Don't panic. You don't need to panic. I mean, who? We're on a crazy path, we've unwrapped it, but don't worry about it. What we're going to do is, do it again, forget about it unwrapping, it doesn't matter. Or it might matter. Right. Damn it. That is so unwrapped, it's unbelievable, what's going on? Right, we'll go this way then. There we go. Put it in between your fingers. But you know what? We're not going to bother with that. That's just crazy stuff. We're not going to get into it. What we'll we do is get some more wire, some more width. Simple as simple. Make it as small as you can. About that much. The smaller, the better. You know. And then get the wire again and wrap it round twice. It's better than doing it the other way. So now we've got a two coil width. Um, and it should look like that. And then you come back to it again like a crazy person and wrap the first wire. Right, this is so crazy, this. Yeah, and the first wire on there and the second. It's trying to force me to do three coils and it's doing a lot in it. Um, can't do three coils. You see, both coils, both wires should be out. Is that the same? Well, I'm mad. Right, so we're going to do three coils today. Yeah, I'll just do three. Can't be hard to do now. Do the melting. And then you just put it on to centre it like that. And then you just proceed to wrap the white wires around the little screw. 
on the inside if you go in the inside of it and do the inside of the other two. That's it, well, probably go in. Uh, and then you just pull them in like so. Um, I've lost my screw thing now. Oh, there we go. We just tighten this in with the screw in, put the wire around it. Yeah, like so. Bloody hell, bloody hell, man, bloody hell, this is well bad, this. Yeah, like so. See, fuck's sake, man. I can see why people look at. I know what's happening at home, right? You're all trying to build a camp, you're all trying to build a coil on camp. That's why you're fucking it up. Don't do it on cam. Don't listen to it. No, oh, listen to what I'm doing on cam. Go back to your room and then do it. And then you roll that round there. Like so. This is so weird. I can't do that. Is that funny? Yeah. Um, oh. I can't believe how difficult this is. I've already made like millions of Oh, I've come out again, man. I've come out. I just stayed up. Oh. Yeah, right, somehow, I'm gonna. Yeah, it's, it's not staying in, it's not staying in. It's, that's well bad, baby. Right. So, as you can see, it's quite difficult. So, I'm just gonna. Oh. I'm going to go back to two coil. See if you can see this on here. I'm going to wrap that around the first one. Twice. If I can. So it stays there. To be able to see it. I'm going to tighten that in. So that's that bit done. Now from the second. Uh, I'm going to wrap it around there. Oh, it might be because of the wire strap. In fact, it probably is. I'm not used, I haven't done the nickel one for ages. But like most people get nickel, so it's probably the wire one. So it's getting there. I just need to run through the other side and make it a little bit tighter in. And as you can see, I've made a coil. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to cut off the loose bit. See that loose bit there? Maybe not. Cut that off. And cut off the other one. And you should have something like that. And then we're just going to raise it to the top. Don't worry about it. It will go up to the top and align the coils in the middle, you should be alright in the middle, and you should have something like that. So you can see the coils in the middle, two wraps. We got there eventually. Now this is another tricky bit. It's tricky to do some nice easy to grab. Um, you want to you want to cut off the end as close as possible. Right, let's put the tricky on cam again. As you can see, it's still all the way out. Oh, and I have to do. And on the other side. Oh, took my fucking finger off here. And you should have no 
saw the invoice for so long. But how the fuck did that just do that? that that's, 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 that's bloody awful. I couldn't do that if I wanted to do it myself. Oh. So, as you can see, that's how you make a coil. Or that's how you make a whip coil. Um, that's a really good way of getting it completely wrong and completely right at the same thing. It, it's a bit mad. It's a bit mad. But don't worry. I'm going to make the same one. Just as good, except not on webcam. I'm still going to be here. Just getting all this shit off my bed. And it should be a lot easier if I don't do it on webcam. So I'll just talk to you while I'm doing it. A little bit of that. Um, wire. You're going to have to unscrew. Oh no, did I get the wire off that? Yeah. You're keeping the same wire, I'm not doing that away. Yeah. You get it off, I think. Ah, I've got the wire off. And. Oh, yes, yeah, a lot of shawl, you know, I can't really do that now. I've cut off the sides, and then you need a little bit of give. You need a little bit of room. Where's my son? I've lost. Let's put the booty on it. I can see why Scott Bonner uses a table. Right, here we go. He's got the wire. Now I'm just going to pull it round. That again. Get off the truth. I know that some people use like a um, a pin or something so to keep all the stuff together you know I got to I mean you can see the reason behind it so, I mean do you really want to look crazy no you don't now where's that again like that wrap it round like that nice and tight Hopefully it's smooth from there. Good it's smooth. Well, it's kind of smooth. I need to do it drop off. Right. One is screwed in. Nearly there, nearly there. I can't. Oh, I've made a three coil by accident. How did that happen? Alright, it comes backwards. Oh. I've somehow it's gone shortly wrong. And my stuff's gone wrong again. Right, don't worry, I fixed it, I fixed it. Two coil is worth it. It's fixed. Right. Now what we want to do is cross that up there. I'm going to get two piles there. I'm just going to align them again. Right. As you can see, there's my coil. It's not very good. Fucked up again. This um. Wick is terrible. Just cutting off the loose bits of wire. Just going to cut off the loose bits of wick. 
And hopefully, it won't be wrong again. Right, and they should have something like that. Got there in the end, we got there in the end. Now what we need to do, we need to put it on the provider. Fuck you go. Really pissing me off now, really pissing me off, I'm telling you. It's really, really pissed off. Don't worry about it. And you get to the bottom of it, and you've done it, it'll be fudging. Right. What's this? Juicy watermelon. It's bloody awful. This is used to be nice. I think the taste was kind of change. Right, I'm on 3 volts at the moment. I'm going to put it down to 3.9. Right, and as you can see, awesome. How's that? It's a, it's a bit too long over here, but I'm not going to bother with it now. That's all you need to do to make a coil. I've probably gone the long way around and fucked it up a million times, but don't worry. You can do it in like two seconds. Now, the hardest part, I personally think, is the hardest part, is putting the wick down there. So all you need... I'm gonna, I did make one earlier, but I'm gonna stay with this one and see if it works. Alright, now you do. Get that, get that, and you push it down. And it has to be a thin wick, or else it's never gonna go down. Now, I might have made, I've made the, the mesh too thin. I knew it, I knew I made it too thin, but go away. I'll show you what to do. Same length, a little bit thicker. There you go. Nice and thin and thick. Get your thin wire. I mean thin wick. And just roll it in. If you can. You should have something like that. So it's a little bit better now. And all you do, get this. You just pop it down. And I think it's too. It's not thick enough again. It's not thick enough. Don't so worry. That other little bit, what we just had. Unroll that. If you can, oh. yeah. nearly there, nearly got it on the road. I know I've got loads, um, but I don't, I don't want to waste it, especially when I'm doing that. I don't want loads of bits in the room, taking ages to clean up. Nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. Alright, and what you do is roll that, pack in that. Hopefully it'll be a little bit thicker. I don't believe normally it's too and it should look like a craziness of that. And let's do it again. Put it through this. It should go all the way in and now it should kind of stick. Do you want to get it in? Now it's too thick. It's too, now it's too thick. I can't believe it. I'm not believe it. Fuck that. Uh, sorry it's worrying but you know 
You're gonna swear, aren't you? It's real life, this shit, man. Real life. Um, is it gonna work like that? No, it's gonna drop down. It needs a little bit of installation. Start it. I'll make a new one. Make a new one, a little bit thicker, and you'll judge it for next time for when you make it. So we made it a bit here, a lot bigger, a lot thicker, and we're gonna go get some new wire. Oh. That was pretty good that um, wick as well because it was nice and straight. I hope that's thick enough, it looks really thin that way. What? Now we're going to put it round here. Roll it in. And it should look like this. Yeah. Now we're going to put it down here. The all place should stay in. So you fuck again, it's well bad this, well bad. And then we go to that again. Now it's working. It's in there now. And you should have a little bit out like that. And a little bit out here, you're going to be putting that bit. So now what we want to do is get this, put a little bit more juice on it. Don't worry if it's the same juice, as long as you get it nice and wet. And just pour it. Oh no, I'm not doing that bit yet. Um, we need to cut this bit off first. No diagonal, all the way up. Oh no, fuck you know. I can't fucking believe it. I can't not believe that shit at all. Trying to quit it and it's gone really bad on me again. Stupid, but look, I've got it working, I've got it working. And all you do you just make sure the wick is showing a little bit unlike um swash it like and swash it. Right, and what I like to do is just put a little bit on the top so it's soft, so it will sort down. A little bit of real liquid on it. And a little, little bit of e liquid on the actual wick inside it. Now we'll help it feed it that right? so it knows what it's doing. Now we're going to put it on top of this. That is a massive wick down. It shouldn't even be that big, it should be a lot smaller. But what can you do? It's making a noise. Funny if you can hear it. Right. Now we need to, you know, I've put you some one of them. And now we need the top bit. The other bit. There it is. And we're going to put it on top. We're going to put this bit inside. 
Now, at the moment, it's a little bit fucked because the, the wick is too big in the beginning one. You should never, you should always have it nice and small because you're only feeding it onto the wick. You're not using it as a dripper or anything. So, hopefully it should work. If not, I'll scream. <laughs> <laughs> That's a strong wet now. Oh. I think it's too strong that actually. Um, let's see what the ohms are reading. 0 0.9 ohms. So it's a bit, um, well, it's a bit low. But don't worry, what you're doing, you're you pressing that and not using to you take you using to you. What you do, all you do, just have a little pork around, move the wires around. Make sure that's on top. There you go. I mean, it's working brilliantly. Just the arms are a bit low. 0.9 still. 1.0, so we're getting up with the one up. See what that is? No, point nine, so what's going on? Um Right, here we go, I think this might be working. One point three. If you see a little spark come up, that tells you oh wait a minute. So that it went back down again then. One point three, one point zero. We'll try that. Um, actually, you know, we're just going to move it before that spark came through. Moving it closer. Now, this should be better. It should be a lot better now. If you see it come red, if it goes red, you know it's near the... Uh, oh, well, try that. It's a little bit. That's a lot better. One point to one point to one point three. That's lovely. As you can see, it's quite a lot better. Right, Obviously, <laughs> I'm turning out to a three point zero volt. See what happens. As you can see, it's a lot of vapor, lots of vapor. You will have to wait a while for the tape to come through, but it is very thin that way, going down the front there. But, if you can, you can double that way. You can get a, that fifth one, but maybe take a couple of strands off. Oh, I love that, I love that. Mm. And that, and that, so I'll just take a two ohm coil. Then we just push it towards the centre. And I'm just going to do it again. I want it. See what I've done, I've made too much um, crap at the top and it's gone all over it. You need, you need to work as great as possible and as good as possible. So you've got a lot of, see when you put your things on it, it'll only interfere with the things sticking down. Um. Oh, 
Yeah, so, you know, that, that's about, that's all you do it, basically. I think it's too long inside there. Yeah, it's a little bit too long. We need it just really popping out. Don't worry about it. It's one of those things. This is Entronia. This is how to make our fuck up making a poly coil. So see you in the future. Hooray! Hooray!